Well, that was a nice find today. A whole bunch of good working solar heating panels. These are water heating panels. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to clean some of these up and sell them, give them away, whatever. As long as I don't have to scrap them. That one's already busted. They've all got thick glass plates on the front of them, so I don't really want to be busting them up. They're bloody heavy too. That one's rusted out. I scored these from my work. Bit of a greenhouse effect going on inside there. <laughs> nice score too. That one there isn't made by my work. That one's made by another company, which I can't even make out. I don't know, Solar... Solarite. Heating Systems Proprietary Limited in Mitcham, Victoria. That one's got plastic front on it. All these other ones are glass. Looks like that glass panel's taken the weight off of all of these. That wasn't so good. At least I loosened the straps off. They're heavy. Poor old trailer's feeling it too. <laughs> she was heavy to tow home. Probably one of the heavier loads I've had on here. Been crimped shut and soldered. Yeah, the other end's still open though. It's a bit odd. Might still have water in it. Same with that one there. I wonder if it's still full of water. Yeah. No, the other ends are open. No water in it. It's probably just the end of the loop. It's a bit odd. Okay, I've got the panels off the uh, trailer and there's only three busted ones. I've got 13 good ones. Well, they need some cleaning up because the glass is all dirty. I'm just dissecting this one. It's got like aluminium paint, heat sinking paint. Pretty straightforward. Uh, that one's also wrecked. And so is that one. Plate glass. Nasty. So there's not much more to it, it's just got fiberglass wool in the backing and uh, yeah, copper tubes with what looks like aluminium paint on them maybe zinc or nickel depends on how much money they spent making them I'd say it'd be aluminium very good cut these out and put it all in the copper scrap this one's made by a different company and it's all copper, every bit of it so that's worth it even more. But it had crap, crappy plexiglass on top of it. Down to the heat exchangers. Oh, yeah. Same deal. It looks like it's got polyester wool instead of fiberglass. Probably explains why it was so heavy. It's full of water. Cool. Very cool. Oh, I guess I should explain how these things work. Uh, these are mains pressure, they hold 100 psi plus of pre water pressure. And um, it's like a greenhouse effect. Wa heat comes through the plastic or the glass and gets trapped in here like a greenhouse. They call it the greenhouse effect. And these heat exchangers absorb that heat, transfer it to the water, and the water transfers it to whatever it's connected to, like a swimming pool. Really straightforward. Not too hard to build either. Just need some good raw, raw materials, a lot of copper, aluminium, that sort of thing. This stuff here is actually soldered onto the tubes. But this one's all copper, as I said before. It's not an aluminium one like that one. But the principle is the same, whether it's plexiglass or glass. I don't know what works best. Uh, this one's Solarite Heating in Mitcham, Victoria. Probably more expensive because it uses old copper, but they use plastic instead of glass. Not bad, but yeah, this one's past it. It's going to get chopped up. Good scrap. In case you're wondering why I sound funny, um, yeah, we had a big work party at the Lobster Cave uh, last night, so that was a load of fun. Unlimited seafood and drinks and everything, all on company. Oh, it was good fun. I hate to see what the bill was worth. I'm betting we pushed over 15 grand. 
Easy. Then again, this company I'm working for has been known to fly people out on helicopter just to go visit Phillip Island or Point Nepean, somewhere like that. I mean, they've spent probably fifty, sixty thousand dollars sometimes, just as a random work function, and it's great fun. It really is. So yeah, let's get back into it.